What's going on there folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream on this uh, June 13th, 2021, 725 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Latest quake going to be a 2.8 fairly deep earthquake there, um, there in the Northern California as well. See that 2.8 there on the globe at uh, about 36 kilometers below surface for that uh, somewhat deep earthquake. Uh, Taking a look at the USGS map here of the all, or actually let's go to the all magnitude map here. We can see what's going on. Northern California, 2.8, way underneath the Trinity Mountain areas up here, about 36 kilometers down, dip downstream. Uh, seeing a little bit of deeper movement here into the uh, North American continent. Kind of keeping a close eye on that. Uh, big picture down in north into Southern California. I'm just, uh, I'm a little in shock as to what happened throughout the day today. Um, I made an update video earlier uh, this morning about increased activity along the uh, San Andreas Fault uh, in areas up here and also to the west. It's a pretty large cluster. Let me let me remind you guys real quick. I did save a screenshot of that real quick. Let me show you guys. Okay, you guys see that? That's from this morning. Check out the. Uh, Check out all the movement on the east side and the west side of the San Andreas Fault. They're north of the Salton Sea, just north, just just barely north, uh, but onto the San Andreas Fault system there, um, and north of that, uh, north of the current cluster of swarms. There, you can see that dark red line. Let me show you guys real quick here. So basically, all this activity that was here on this section and over here on the eastern section has been pulled. It's been it disappeared. And I don't know how many earthquakes there was there was on that map uh, in that area. Probably, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 earthquakes or so right around the San Andreas Fault, up and down there. Maybe more than that, 20 earthquakes maybe. And to think that they just completely pulled those quakes. Um, the only reason I can think of is that, um, well, there's a couple reasons. They don't want to scare the public. They don't want uh, too much... Um, panic out there in Southern California or in the world for that matter um, or I could see a regional quake say a large re regional quake somewhere around here in Southern California triggering false readings you know false quakes but that would only be maybe one or two but not 15 or 20 and all over the place in this area I just I don't understand why um, those earthquakes were pulled all around here folks in a wide area uh, just gone up up like smoke in the wind um, taking a look at the earthquakes that they are showing us here in the USGS map uh, salt and sea area about 91 earthquakes or so in this region still looking at uh, quite a bit of swarming um, and some uh, looks like a deeper movement there 1.4 27 kilometers over here around the San Jacinto fault area the mountains um, overall uh, earthquake activity still on the increase in Southern California uh, and also uh, looks like Nevada up here around the Mammoth Lakes area getting in on some action I got to make this update kind of short uh, I got my nephew coming here uh, far as the rest of the globe goes uh, a little bit of movement way up here check this one out 4.0 northern Russia way up there uh, nothing big but still kind of a scratch your head type of deal what's that earthquake doing way up there um, and some movement down here along the uh, Solomon Islands area, uh, but overall not a whole lot of significant large quakes happening today. Um, I'm still I'm still expecting something to uh, uh, potentially pop off there in Southern California, West Coast region. Uh, there's pretty deep one point or uh, 4.9 there in Peru at 132 kilometers, uh, and some movement continuing. Gonna watch this area pretty closely because we're getting kind of like a swarm of uh, moderate earthquakes here around the Guatemala area. And uh, further south, just north of Costa Rica, Guatemala City sits over here. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on this region. Nothing big. It uh, looks like so far the 5.4 was the largest there uh, in that region. Uh, but overall, um, just kind of watching this region pretty closely. Uh, and as I said, the West Coast, definitely keep an eye on that. Trimmer map, let's check this out real quick. A little bit of movement along the southern area of the Cascadia subduction zone. It's kind of new. Um, see down there at the very southern end into parts of uh, northern California there. Kind of 
why I, I think this is kind of why we're seeing that uh, deeper earthquake that we've seen on the USGS map up here in the Trinity Mountains area. Uh, we're getting a little bit of slippage taking place here in this area of the Cascadia, which ultimately can and uh, you know does produce uh, surface quakes or uh, quakes in general down deep, down down dip, downstream, uh, where the tremors actually taking place there. And uh, so that's kind of a, a cool thing to look at there with the slippage and then also the. Uh, uh, the tremor acti or the uh, earthquake activity taking place on the USGS map. It's a 2.8 at 36 kilometers. So, all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, and I'm still kind of um, looking at potentially getting down there to the Salton Sea area. Uh, pretty busy, pretty busy week. Um, I'm not for sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, I got a lot going on in the personal life, but I'm definitely going to try and get down there see what's going on out there around the Salton Sea area. But, uh, alrighty. Have a good night. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone, and uh, be prepared.